Greetings, greetings all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, inspiredbydreams.shop. We got everything from snapbacks, hoodies, everything for you to get to drip on, dressing outside of the box. Okay, today it's the same thing. Diddy. Now when it comes down to this whole situation going on with Diddy, what everybody in the world wants to know at this point is, who was at those parties? Now from what I'm hearing is, I don't know if this has anything to do with Diddy, but people are saying that Kevin Lyles stepped down from his position over at 300. I don't know man, but the evidence is definitely coming out and the proof is definitely in the pudding. So what we're going to do right now is just look into maybe if we can catch some people that was around Diddy in certain situations, certain times, and just looking at some past clips that was real suspicious. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe. Hurry up. Let's get it. Okay, so this particular clip right here is Diddy at his last moments before he gets indicted. Bust myself at a Diddy party. Didn't know that's how it go. I was in it for a new Ferrari, but it cost me way more than my soul. What? Was it worse of a fortune and fame? All the girls never walk in the same side of paper, so he never has to ever say sorry. Lost myself at a Diddy party. What? And Diddy, go ahead and wrap this up by Monday. In fact, you might want to go ahead and wrap it up by midnight tonight. And I'm being as serious as that Rico charge is on your indictment, because what you don't want to do is refuse to cop a plea deal and go to trial. Imagine going to trial and the prosecutor gets up, presses play, and the video is of you during a freak off. And then they bring in all the victims who say that it was not, in fact, consensual. Imagine then that the prosecutor gets up and plops down the thousand bottles of lubricants found in your home. And then after that, the prosecutor gets up and plops down the weapons and the illicit substances in your home. I didn't even get to that, baby. If the feds wanted to, they could get you off the illicit substances and the weapons alone. Wrap it up. Quickly, they sacrificed and did it. They, they said, "Nigga, you gotta take this shit, cause we ain't we 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 can't be involved." But Diddy smart. He filmed every fuck session, so he was fucking Clive and the motherfucking freak boy that run a uh, Universal Music Group. So he got them on some fuck tapes. Now that's why they raiding the house because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds, and they said, "Get, get in there and get them tapes from this nigga. He trying to blackmail us." That's what I believe is going on. He get arrested finally and, and, and get the book ready to be thrown at his very, very, very dancing feet. They're going to be his feet with that law book. That's how many crimes he's done and everyone's so surprised. You know how weird that is for me? They procure bitches to do <laughs> damage and wild shit like I do something like that, I said. Why don't nobody ever want to believe me? Jaguar sat on the couch and said he put the boots to that girl and y'all said she was a liar and then we seen it and then y'all just said And always remember sometimes it ain't about the messenger it's about the message Who's at these parties, man? It's like crazy. This is this whole thing is just upsetting and at the same time it's demonic and people really have to get a grip on what life is really about. Don't let the money change who you are as a person. This is This is crazy. Who's in the back? Like for real like And at the end of the day, you don't want to throw your legacy away for what? For what? 
Nobel. Nobel. He's the thing. We're, we're appealing it. Oh, I'm sorry. We are we're appealing the, the, the decision to hold him without bail. When's the next court appearance? Tomorrow at 3.30. 3.30. Same place. Mr. Combs is a fighter. He's going to fight this to the end. He's innocent. Uh, he came to New York to establish his innocence. He's not afraid. He's not afraid of the charges. There's nothing that the government said in their presentation today that changes anyone's mind about anything. He's been looking forward to this day. He's been looking forward to clearing his name, and he's going to clear his name. Uh, and we're going to stand by his side as, as he does. We believe in him wholeheartedly. Um, he didn't do these things. This was a 10-year relationship. There's no coercion. There's no crime. There's basically just you know, so someone who brought a civil case and now uh, is, is finding themselves as a, w a witness in a, in a criminal case. I speak to him all the time. Yeah, yeah. So what, what's his reaction to everything this we, we knew this was coming. I mean, he, he moved to New York, uh, as I think some of you guys know. We, we brought him to New York about two weeks ago because we knew this day was going to come, and it's here. Did you expect uh, to take he, her a he, last night? Was that planned? We, we, no, no, it, it's not planned by us. Um, I mean, he came here to surrender uh, at a time agreeable to the U.S. Attorney's Office, and they arrested him last night. Um, I spent the, the evening with him. I was with him until about 1 o'clock. His spirits are good. He's confident. Um, he is dealing with this head on, the way he's dealt with every challenge in his life. He's, he's not guilty. He's innocent of these charges. And we know, we know what the charges are going to be without seeing the indictment. It's going to be racketeering. It's going to be trafficking. It's going to be things along those lines. This is what we've been expecting since the search is in March. He, to his great credit, he voluntarily came to New York. Not a lot of defendants do that. He came to New York to, to, to basically engage the court system and start the case, and it'll start today. He's, he's going to plead not guilty, obviously. He's going to fight this with uh, all of his energy and all of his might and the full confidence of his lawyers. I expect a, a long battle with a good result for Mr. Combs. Do you so think he'll be released? If, if you, I'm, I'm going to fight like hell to get him released, and he should be released with all that he's done and coming here voluntarily. And, and guys, I'm going to cut it short because I have to go in. All right. Yeah. With some of Diddy, why not to get in the mouth? Um, because, like, he was, you know, he was fuzzing ready, and I was trying to be a woman and work through things, and he wasn't ready. So then I was like, fuck it. And I left. What you want my, what? What you got to say now? What you gotta say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snap. Wow, a lot of things I can take from this, but one thing I could say is, you don't have to lie, cheat, hurt, and steal from your own people to become rich. Do things from your heart and don't hurt people. And in the end, it'll be well worth it. When you go down this route of hurting your own people and just taking this demonic energy and, and taking from people and using your power to block people, karma has a way of catching up with you. And what we're seeing, it's a sad thing, but it's a real truth that does exist. You guys let me know what you think down below. And who do you think will be in this party? I'm hearing a lot of things. Neo, Usher. I hear a whole lot of things, but I don't want to just throw names out there. I want to see what's really going on and what really happened and how this man lost his way. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.